Alright, so if you have everything programmed and you have your shield built correctly, it should do this. Okay, so no music until I hit the button. Let me zoom out of that. This last one controls the pitch. And these three do step downs for the note. And this third one does this really long kind of horn type deal. And you can play any of the other ones while it does that. I don't know why I would use that one, but oh well, there it is. So now we have to look at a 3D printed product that wraps it all up. And I've started that. Not finished, but as I go along, I'll show you the process. So here's a little keyboard for it. You see, it has little keys, 3D printed. How this works is it has a PLA spike. So it looks just like this. Okay, the PLA spike goes through these holes right here and it holds all these keys in place. I have these little springs I'm calling them. They're really thin one mil springs that, uh, yeah, they're springy so what happens this little area of the key presses down on those but it springs back. So you can put your keys in. Just like that. Those springs I glued into place going across the little eye beams uh, on the inside. I'll show you how that works as I pr produce a product. So it looks like that now and the keys pivot on that little PLA spike and then this fits on top of the shield and then the sensor fits on top of that just like that and now I have a keyboard pretty cool right so I'm not done I gotta wrap around the Arduino uh, package that all up and then I gotta hide the sensor a little bit more but essentially it's getting there uh, that's my journal entry for right now and I'm printing off some more parts and as I print them I'll show you what it looks like enjoy <laughs>